Ah. Hello and welcome to the Freedom Show. My name is Ryan Lee, the founder of Freedom.com, the number one resource for heart-centered lifestyle entrepreneurs. And right now, at this very moment, you are listening to the Freedom Show, the daily show featuring 10 minutes of fluff-free advice showing you how to create a true lifestyle business. Because as you know, it's not just about the money, it's about the freedom. If you want my free special gift, I've taken 15 years of my best business and lifestyle income advice, condensed it down to just three pages. All you have to do is hop on over to freedom.com, F-R-E-E-D-Y-M.com. If you're driving, you don't want to go on the internet, that's fine. Just text the word freedom, but make sure to pull over. Freedom, F-R-E-E-D-Y-M. Just text that over to the number 33444. Now today, we've got another good one. We've got my man, Paul Mort. Paul is a guy I've known for years in the fitness industry, and what I love about Paul, his emails, his Facebook posts are so um, him. Like, they're just him. There's, there's no other voice like Paul, um, and we're going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about email marketing, personality marketing, um, and how he does what he does. If you want to learn more about Paul, check out his website, I am Paul Mort, I am P-A-U-L-M-O-R-T dot com. Now, I'm not Paul Mort, but ladies and gentlemen, we've got 10 minutes on the clock. Here we go. Paul Mort, are you ready? Dude, that's the greatest introduction ever. It, yeah, well, like, you know, I want to go and download your free report right now. You really should. Let's stop the interview. Let's pause it, download it, and then uh, and now we're back, well, everybody. Here we are. We're back. I'm in. I'm in there like swimwear, and I'm excited. Yeah. Now, as you can tell from the accent, Paul is from Mississippi. Um <laughs> No, Paul, here's what you're like bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a great accent. Uh, now we've got we've got like eight and a half minutes left. Paul, okay, let's, go. let's talk email marketing. Give me your secret sauce. Why do your emails resonate? Just dive right in. Okay, my emails resonate in the Facebook post, as you mentioned, resonate because um, I tell the truth. And I show all of me, not just the highlight reel. Like I think people in business, particularly in marketing and the business of fitness only show people the highlight reel Mm. now here's the problem with that that's cool and all and it may inspire some people but for most people it will probably make them think this guy is super human it kind of puts them off so for everyday people who are kind of um, on a on a caffeine drip and struggle to get out of bed the very people who you're trying to help you may be turning them off Mm -hmm. now here's what i found when i shared nothing but my highlight reel i was a big fat liar Lied, I'd, I'd add an extra zero to my income. Mm. I'd, I'd, I'd take an extra 5% off my true body fat levels. And in the age of filters and things, that's very easy. But here's what I found is that I attracted a ton of people who were a terrible fit for me. And when they saw what they saw on the outside, everything was cool. But when they came inside and they realized that actually I was very honest, <laughs> is the word that I'm looking for. Brutally could, honest, which is good. Yeah, brutally honest or radically honest is what I like to say or um, blunt for want of another word, that they got, they were in for a shock. So I ended up getting drained by them. I ended up feeling like I was walking on eggshells around them. I just couldn't be myself. And I ended up building like two or three businesses that I ended up hating. Now, it wasn't particularly the business model. It was the people that I worked with. Now, I'm not saying they were bad people. I'm saying that I attracted the people that were a terrible fit for me. So the business became a business that I didn't like anymore. And these were businesses that were very profitable. One of them was a supplement business. The other one was a fitness business. And I built them up to be pretty big and ended up just having to sell them for way less than what they were really worth because I needed to get out because they were draining me. Mm. And you're one of the people that speaks about family or not. And I'm the same. I'm like, money is irrelevant. When those first kind of four or five years of my kid's life, if I'm not there... They're not even going to know who, I'm sure they'll thank me for the money in the bank account later, but they're not going to know who I am, and I'm not going to know who they are if I don't spend any time with them. Right, because I yeah, mom, who's the guy with the funny accent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very strange accent, but it does give me the ability to give people 40 minutes worth of information in just eight minutes. <laughs> Because I'm I'm not, Ryan hasn't pressed fast forward or anything. This is how fast that I talk. Yeah, well, I, I knew we were going to get a lot in in the 10 minutes today. <laughs> yeah, dude. So the email thing, the email thing being, being, Garrett White, my friend, calls it real, raw, and relevant. And all I do in the email is I actually share things that don't go so well. So, for instance, this morning, I've actually had a pretty shitty day, to be honest. It's been, I've been tired. 
And when I get tired, my mind starts to play tricks. And it's like, oh, you shouldn't be tired. Being tired for, for, for wimps, for wusses. You can sleep when you're dead and all that kind of hustle mindset that I was in before. So then I mentally annihilate myself and I don't get anything done. So this week, I'll write an email about the fact that that's happened with some advice for people. And what people see, Ryan, is that I'm actually human and that I'm not superhuman. And this is the big word. I can relate to them. They can relate to me. So even though I'm, I'm, I'm positioning myself as being more successful than them, which is kind of our job, they're also seeing that actually I have shit days too when I can't be bothered. Right. So that it, it, it relates to them, but it also creates, because I'm telling the truth, for me, we know that the, the kind of the, the point of an email is to generate no like and trust. Now, for me, the, the people that we trust the most are the people that tell the truth. Right. So by telling the truth, we don't have to use kind of, I mean, persuasion and all that's great, but we don't have to use any kind of underhand tactics or ninja tactics. Or, and we don't have to kind of dupe people to get them to trust us. We get them to trust us by just sharing the truth. And isn't it amazing how much easier marketing and sales and conversion become just by being, you know, as you said, real, raw, and relevant? Not only easier, but we also attract people who we actually love working with. Like right. most of my guys, I would hang out with for free. Whereas before I would go and speak in an event or put on an event and I couldn't wait to get out. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go home instantly. I wouldn't hang out in the bar. I was like, oh, I don't want to talk to these people. But now I'm like, I would hang out with these people for free, which means that I can relax and I'm not constantly looking over my shoulder thinking, what have I lied about here? What did I tell them last time? Right. I tell them that I earned last week. Do you know what I mean? It means that I can relax and just be myself completely. And it also means, I was talking about this just before, I just did a two-hour webinar on, on email, actually. And I said that nobody, I attract less haters now than before, despite the fact that I'm more outspoken now than I was before. Hmm. And the reason is, they can't say anything about me that I haven't already said. <laughs> <laughs> that is very liberating because I've done some crazy things in my time. You can probably tell from these six minutes. Right. Uh, I've done some crazy shit and some, some shit that I regret. I've said some things that I regret. I've done some crazy things, parties, etc. But I am, I've, I've kind of been honest about all of it. Mm. And people are like, is that not negative? I'm like, no, because what I'm doing is I'm taking a negative situation and I can turn it into a positive very quickly. Yeah. Very quickly. We call this what, why, lesson, apply. Garrett White taught me and I turned into an email format. What happened? Why was it positive? What lesson have I learned and how can I apply that to business? Mm -hmm. So I can take a life situation and apply it to business. For fitness people, they can take that. What happened? Why was it positive? What's the lesson that I learned and how can I apply that to training and nutrition? So it becomes very easy to come up with content because for me, I'm like, there's no point in emailing if I'm not going to email daily. It's kind of like... Yeah, the more emails I send, the more money I make. Yeah, you, you know, it's funny because it, it almost reminds me of, I think it was Seth Godin that said something like this where <clears throat> people talk about writer's block, and I get that question a lot. How do you always come up with content? And <laughs> it's funny because when you write as you speak, yeah. it flows, but you, you, know, you never hear someone say, I have speaker's block. Like, no one could ever, <laughs> you can't go to a party and someone like, uh, like they can't speak. Like, you can yeah. speak. If you could yeah. speak, you can write. Um, yeah. Uh, and so many ways to do this. Like I do this exercise every day. I'm, I'm almost like I cannot have a bad day anymore because I'm like, well, something shit happens. Mm -hmm. It's an email, yeah. <laughs> right? Something good happens. It's an email. I get a question from somebody on Facebook privately. I'm like, dude, I'm going to write an email about this. Is that okay? So now that I can take one question and I can be like, instead of serving one with a free answer, I'm going to serve many with a free answer. Right. Because if one person has that, has that question, there's bound to be hundreds of others on your list that have the question. One last thing I want to tap into. Just give me like your really short response to it. Um, okay. People, the, the biggest thing that I think that people have from doing this is they, they're nervous. They're scared. They're fearful. They don't want to reveal this stuff. They want to be private. Mm -hmm. What's the piece of advice you could say to just get over that? Or do you? <laughs> the skeletons will come out the closet eventually anyway. So you may as well be the... Ben Settle taught me this, funnily enough. Make the skeleton dance. Mm. Make it dance. Put that thing on a string and make it dance to your tune rather than having somebody else making up their version of the truth. Ooh. You be upfront and honest about it and it's like it's, it's almost liberating, Ryan. It's like I have that skeleton off my back and now it's dancing. People can make up their own decision after that. 
And that skeleton is moonwalking across the email. I love it. Doing the worm right across that subject line. <laughs> <laughs> this was amazing. And I hope you enjoyed listening to this great episode with Paul Mort. Always just being real. Being, and you did not curse, which was imp- – I don't have to do that. I, I think I dropped a couple of uh, S-H-I-T's, but I tried not to drop the F-bomb in. Um, I, I believe you pronounce it shite. So that's fine. Uh, I don't think uh, iTunes will pick that up. So uh, – Again, to learn more about Paul uh, and to get your daily dose of Paul, check out <laughs> IamPaulMort.com. This is Ryan Lee. We are signing off. Have no fear, my friend. Paul, did we ever stop here at the Freedom Show? Hell no. Hell to the no. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. We're here seven days a week. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for listening, everyone. Have an amazing day. I'll see you in 24 hours. Take care and bye-bye.